I'm Elisa Starkweather, and I'd like to tell you a bit about shadow work. Shadow work is a way to bring your true self out of shadow and into the light. What do we mean by shadow? When we talk about shadow, we mean the parts of ourselves that we've denied or hidden away, maybe even from ourselves. Our shadow is the parts of ourselves we've decided not to be like. Let's take a look at some people who don't have shadows. Infants. They express exactly what they're feeling. They smile when they're happy, cry when they're unhappy, and sleep when they're tired. They're completely authentic. They don't hesitate, edit, or hold back. They just express who they are and what's going on inside. But as we grow up, our parents and teachers and our culture in general teach us that parts of ourselves are not acceptable. And sometimes the messages come to us in a pretty harsh way. So we learn to hide those unacceptable parts of ourselves. We like Robert Bly's description in his book, A Little Book on the Human Shadow, in which he says, it's as if we have a bag that we put our unacceptable parts. We hide those parts of ourselves away so they won't be seen. At first we put into the bag parts of ourselves that we might judge as bad. Maybe we put our laziness in the bag, or our anger, or maybe we put our greed into the shadow bag, or maybe we hide and deny parts of our sexuality. We keep throwing who we don't think we should be into this bag until, as you might guess, some of the most wonderful golden parts get thrown in that bag too. Maybe we put our playfulness in the bag because a parent or teacher didn't like us to be loud or messy. Or maybe we hide away our creativity because someone said we weren't doing it right. Perhaps our ability to feel unrestrained joy goes into the bag because our life has been hard. Or maybe we hide away our loving connection of intimacy because we've been hurt too many times. As the years go by, we put more and more parts of ourselves into the bag until eventually it's big and heavy and full with all the parts of ourselves that we have hidden away. And we drag this bag around with us and it slows us down and keeps us from being who we really want to be. So, by shadow, we mean anything that's in the bag, parts of ourselves we have denied or repressed or hidden away. If we're trying not to be a certain way, that part of us is in shadow. How can you tell what parts of yourself you might have put into shadow? You might have put a part of yourself in shadow if it annoys you and someone else. I get so angry when they do that. Don't they know it's not okay? If you have decided not to be a certain way, you probably don't like to see it in someone else. On the other hand, you may have put a part of yourself in shadow if you admire it in someone else. Gee, I wish I could be like that person. They're so creative and courageous, but I could never be like that. That's a clue that you might have put a wonderful golden part of yourself into shadow. Or maybe you've put a part of yourself in shadow if you act a certain way by accident. I don't know why I did that. Something just came over me. That's not me. Well, in shadow work, we believe it is you, a part of yourself that you've hidden away in your shadow bag, but it leaked out. Now, in shadow work, we believe that everything we've put in the bag, everything we've put into shadow, has within it a legitimate, useful, and even golden energy that we can use in a positive way. If you're willing to take that part out of the shadow bag, dust it off, or work with it, you may find gold in it. For instance, if we put our arrogance into the shadow bag, we may also have hidden away our ability to believe in ourselves, to have healthy self-esteem and confidence. In denying our unhealthy arrogance, we may have hidden away our healthy ability to believe in ourselves. Healthy self-esteem may be the golden energy inside our unhealthy arrogance. In the same way, if we put our anger in the shadow bag, we may also have given up 
our ability to set boundaries and to protect ourselves and the things we value. We may need healthy anger sometimes. And if we've denied parts of our sexuality, we may have limited our ability to connect deeply, heart to heart. And if we've denied our laziness, we may also have given up our ability to simply relax and enjoy life's moments. In shadow work, we think it's inevitable and even a good thing that early on in our lives, we put some of ourselves in that shadow bag so that we can get along in our families and in society. And we also believe that it's a good thing at some point in our lives to want to take some things out of our bag to reclaim parts of ourselves to become more authentic and ultimately to love ourselves for who we are. A gentle word of caution. When you decide to take something out of the bag for the first time, it's really important to do it in a safe place. Your everyday life is not the best place to take a shadow for a test drive. For example, you may not want to start expressing your repressed grief while you're at work. Or you might not want to experiment with your anger for the first time in your love relationship, because if you did, it might look something like this. Your unexamined shadows can mess up your life. That's why you put them in the bag to begin with. Shadow work provides a place that you can take things out of your shadow bag slowly, consciously, and by choice in a protected environment. What is shadow work like? Shadow work is done in a place away from your regular life where confidentiality is assured, a place that is shame-free, and where there are no real-world consequences. That is, you can explore shadow, then decide how much of it you want to take to the outside world. Shadow work is done with skillful facilitation. And you can do shadow work in an individual session or in a group. A shadow work process begins when the facilitators ask you, what would you like to have happen here? You can explain in your own words what you want for yourself. And if you're not sure what you want, the facilitators can listen carefully and help you determine what it is that you do want. In shadow work, you are in charge of your process. The facilitators ask you for your choice every step of the way. You determine the direction, depth, and pace of what happens. The facilitators lead by following because we believe that the best facilitator is your own inner facilitator. If you've been thinking that you might like to reclaim parts of yourself that you may have hidden away so that you could be more authentic and love yourself for who you are, you've already come a long way. And we invite you to shadow work. For more information, go to shadowwork.com. I'll be teaching a shadow work archetypes class on the archetypes of the model of shadow work. The lover, the magician, the warrior, and the sovereign. If you'd like to know more about this, then come to this website, www.shadowworktools.com. Dot com.